So you asked, I gave, uh, I'm going to take you through how to do a wrap with a kind of thicker cottony, more voluminous scarf, like a cotton scarf or a jersey scarf, and no shaper, just your own bun, a non-slip headband, and all of your awesome funky natural volume and how to turn that into this sort of really nice comfortable slouchy beanie shape that looks fancy and it looks fun but it's actually totally easy and completely simple so let's go and wrap ourselves a wonderful scarf today okay so this is the easiest tutorial ever guys literally all you need some sort of scrunchie, something to pop up your bone, non-slip velvet headband from Rapunzel, from wherever, don't even care, just do yourself a favor, have a no-slip headband. Also, do we love this blue lipstick? So in love with this blue lipstick. Can't exactly wear it to work, but it was a part of my Smashbox Legendary Lip Vault set, and I'm just so in love with it, especially with this crushed velvet blazer that I just bought. Basically, it's like the 90s all over again, and it makes me happy. I remember having a, um... Uh, like crushed velvet silver top that I wore like every single damn day when I was a kid, so it's like return to that. <laughs> okay, so uh, all I did was put my hair in a bun, pull my hair forward so nothing is sticking, get it you know where I want it, uh, and then we're just going to put on our non slip headband the right way, not the wrong way. Always make sure your velvet's going on the right way where you will be in a world of hurt later on because everything will be slipping and you'll be like, why? It's because your headband's moving. So put that headband on uh, exactly where you want it. It's important to put the headband on exactly where you want it because the headband's not going to move. And then take your scarf. Uh, like I said in the intro, I really recommend doing this with sort of a cotton scarf or a scarf that has weight to it. Uh, this is this like gray petal soft from Rapunzel. Basically, you don't want anything that isn't sort of weighty or you're not going to get that sort of slouchy beanie look that I was talking about. And then you're just going to put it on your head with the ends equal. Bring it up to the edge. I've just got a little mirror down here so I hope that you guys can see this fine. I'm sort of doing it to the side so you can get a better look at kind of what I'm doing. And then we're just going to bring it down, gather, 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 and crisscross. I don't tie it because then you get the spare tire effect where it looks like you have a tiny little bun and a little like spare tire fabric around that bun. So we don't want to do that. So we've got our tie equal ends. Inevitably one will be shorter. Inevitably one will be shorter. So take the shorter end first and you're going to wrap it just around the back of your bun. Uh, just fold it in a little bit, but you want it to still be nice and crinkly because uh, you want a lot of sort of lift and, and wrinkles. Okay, so you're gonna wrap this around the back of your head so you kind of see that I'm bringing it sort of mid mid head here, not like right over the bun but just around and then I'm just gonna wrap it like so around the bun and stick it, uh, you know, stick it in the back. So the, the point of it here is to get it sort of just a little bit further back but not, you know, like completely on your bun because what you're doing basically is just creating sort of some some folds and some room and you know giving yourselves the look of a sort of scrunchy beanie without actually using a beanie and then you're just going to tuck this around so you can see I had to sort of search for it a little bit there but once you find it you'll see you sort of have this sort of graduated sort of fluffy slopey type look which is great uh, and then what you're going to do is take the long, slightly longer end because uh, there's always a slightly longer end no matter how carefully right we we do this thing and then find out where oh there you go find out why it's twisting and then again fold the fringy bits in but sort of still leave it wrinkly and then this one you're going to bring up right on the crown of your head right on the top of your head because we're adding some volume and some you know wrinkles and you can do this angled you don't have to and sort of when you get it over here, heck you could if you wanted, you could pin it down if you wanted a tail, but I, I had it all up and around, so I'm just going to do that. So I sort of just going to take the longer end here and fold so that it's very, you know, 
nice and soft and there's not a lot of fringes. Then I'm just going to bring that back around once again. I'm going to find the lip of that tail and tuck it in. So you see why you don't want a super fringy scarf for this because otherwise it get really messy. But by doing that, <clears throat> instead of tucking in, I've kind of tucked up and around. And what I've done is I've created this sort of slouchy, beanie, natural look where there, you know, is not uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, bumpiness. You don't get the weird cone effect you can see here. It's sort of nice and graduated and like a slouchy beanie. If you have a lot of natural volume, it's really comfortable. Uh, you know, some days you just don't want a friggin' shaper. You don't want the, the weight and you just want something fun. So, take a uh, cotton scarf, jersey scarf, something with a lot of oomph to it and just do this. So this was just a regal wrap but like you can see you just have to be careful with the placement. Placing your bun in the center, taking the first one and wrapping it around the back of your head to create a little bit of a slope shape around the bun and then the one, the longer end or the other end, whichever, you know, on the top of your head and then sometimes I find if you want a little bit more volume, squeeze your head. So just squeeze up, force the, the sort of looseness of the scarf to come up to the top and you'll notice you'll get a little bit more volume there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm a blue lipstick, I'm a blue blazer. <laughs> uh, you know, I, this is a great wrap for being active, for being out in the summer, uh, or if you're just having a lazy day like I was having the other day when I did, you know, the wrap uh, in my one unboxing video. So go forth, wrap it up. Uh, create some awesome, I'm looking forward to see what kind of scarves maybe you guys do this with to create this sort of slouchy beanie natural volume shape. And if you like this video, please like it. Any comments, question below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I uh, put out these awesome wrapping tutorials all the time and I look forward to maybe exploring a little bit uh, with a series about no shapers and, and you know, giving people a bit of uh, something to work with if maybe you don't have the shapers and all the extra accessories that I use sometimes in my videos. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye.